motorcycle adventure Dirt Bike TV, supported proudly by Adventure Spec in the UK, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, Adventure Moto in Australia, Pirelli Tyres, Motel Oils, RK Chains and Australian Adventure Bike Magazine. Oh, that's a nice sound. I've come down to Hobart, Tasmania to spend a couple of days embedded in the 2022 BMW Safari Tasmania. I'm riding a triple black GS1250 and my riding buddy is journalist Dylan Ruddy of Bike Sales Australia. The first job is to find the starting venue and we're off to a dodgy start. Alright. Shove a camera in your face. Yeah, you good, good to see you again. You too, what's going on? Ah, just wondered if you've been here for three days. Yes. Day four, the clouds look like they're coming in. If we get off away early. Well, we start, we woke up with stars, let's end with stars. All Nothing right. in between, eh? Okay, sounds good to me. How's it been going? It's great, it's been lovely. Yeah. First, first time, uh, it's been having a great time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so that's good. So, and where are you from? Sydney. All oh, right, and you've ridden down? Uh, I came on the ferry, yes. Right. So, so you're making a couple of weeks of it, really, or a week and a bit? Mm, just down for intensive. Did the training, which was fantastic. Yeah. And then into the thing, uh, unfortunately, I'd like another week. It'd be great. Go and do <laughs> everything, backtrack and do it again. Yeah. So, no, it's really, really good. I'm having a ball. Well, that's good. And how's your bike going? Good, good. I think I need a new one. <laughs> you like them? I think, yeah. No, I think it's time for a 1250. All right. 1250 it is. Mike? Thanks for talking to us. Have a great day. See ya. How you going? Good to see ya. Yeah, been a while. Yeah. So Dave, your bike's looking good? Oh yeah, Gretchen, she's, uh, she's a very dirty girl, Gretchen. Gretchen's dirty? Yeah, she's been playing in the mud. Staying this way in the mud, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, that's good, very mate. Happy. You look very like happy. you've been enjoying yourself. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. First safari, I haven't done a safari before. Yeah. As you know, I've met yeah. you on other things. Yes, but yeah. 250 bikes, oh my god. <laughs> it's full on, you isn't it? You need to strategize around that. Yeah. Um, yeah, just work out um, how you're going to fit with all these people and the passing and all of that stuff. Yeah. It's a lot of bikes. It's a lot of bikes around the dinner table. <laughs> a lot of fun. Good. Good to see you, mate. No worries, mate. See you, Dave. Out there. Miss Coloured Mountain. BMW sprinkled at the base. It's poetry. <laughs> Neil, you look ready, pumped and primed. Already it's been fantastic. The weather's looking a bit better. Hopefully we have a good day out there today. Yeah. Enjoying it? Loving it. Fantastic. Couldn't be much better. How many of these have you done? This is my second one. All right. Did you do cans last year? I did do cans last year. Just Imogen like Creek. Fantastic. Really, really good. <laughs> have a good day, everyone. See you, mate. The ride. See ya. Andrew Reid, where are you from, mate? I'm uh, from Sydney. Okay, how many of these have you done? Oh, this is my first GS, uh, first GS safari, and so far, awesome. Loved yesterday, last two days, nice fast days on the on the dirt, really good. Yeah, how long have you had a Beamer for? Oh, 2010, so what, 12 years? Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah. and it's Great good fun. to see mud on them rather yeah. than coffee stains, isn't That's it? Right. Hey? Yeah. How, how do you find your bike? Yeah, awesome, nice and smooth. Um, yeah, don't ride it too fast, but uh, it is nice and smooth on the dirt. Yeah, slow and steady, mate. Yeah, you get yeah. you there. Get there in the end. Thanks, Andrew. No hey, Steve from Adventure Motor. Here's a guy. See, he's in it. He's in the gear. Mate, how do you find the gear? Yeah, excellent. Yeah. E excellent. Yeah. Sort of. Welcome to the good side. It's so comfortable. <laughs> Doesn't have to be all branded with the bike brand. No, no, no. It's amazing stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's excellent, mate. So, how are you enjoying the ride? Yeah, good. Yeah, today could be interesting. Yeah, maybe a little bit of rain. We'll yeah. see how we go. Yeah. So anyway, no, it's all been good. Yeah. We've been good. here since last Tuesday, and we haven't had a dry day yet. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking up. The mountain's looking all right. Yeah. All right. See you. Thanks. Oh, good. 
That was what got me into this in the first place. Oh, that's what got you the 310s, our yeah, 310 yeah, yeah. review. Yeah. yeah, he's got the Rally Raid. Yeah. Suspensions. I've got the Hydro Pro. Hyper Pro. All right. So it's, it's lower the suspension so I can fit my legs on it. Yeah. yeah. The lap has gone down. Same bike looks so different. <laughs> so, and Chappie, you, the, aren't the bikes great? These little ones great. Yeah, they yeah, do yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. I love it. We've done some like pretty gnarly like up hills and down hills and like they've got me up there so and got me down. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And you know, so we watched the videos that you guys made with the 310s and it was so cool. We were like, look and go, Oh, I get that now because I'm really new. I yeah. just started riding about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, and then got off road with him and then uh, rode his bike, really enjoyed it. So I got my own 310. Oh, wow. Yeah. And this is your first uh, Beamer Rally? Yes, first Safari. So oh, great. Yeah, that's really great. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It, and how have you found this is day four? So, how are you going? I'm excited about today. Yeah. 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 She, she likes some more technical stuff, don't you? Yeah. For some weird reason. Oh, that's good. Like I know you tell me, that, no, but I say that, and then just wait till tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's been, it's been really, really good. I've been having a lot of fun, and you know, we've been doing some yeah, nice, nice off-road like um, stuff. Uh, rides and, yeah, it's been really good. All right, we'll see you out on the road. Say yeah, fried, and yeah. um, it's great to see Mad TV fans. I like to see that. <laughs> Absolutely. See ya. We're out now. We've got out of the city. And uh, how's your BMW going? It's going well. They're a very nice bike to ride. Although, strangely, the, the left grip isn't very warm. The grip heaters, the, the right's working well, the left isn't. So oh, no. The left hand's a bit cold. Right. Anyway, we pick the weather at the moment. Yeah, it's absolutely ripping day. We're all alone now. We tag behind a few people and they all had their GPS. We've got none. We're just following arrows <laughs> and it's a bit of an eyesight test. That's it. Anyway. Yeah, I'm liking this triple black. Don't, don't they do the freeway well on the highway? Oh, they're unreal, aren't they? So comfortable. Yeah, the Germans might not like this, but I call it the Swiss multi-tool. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Mate, it does everything. unusual today there's a little bit slippery in places and you gotta I've got an in enduro at the moment you can see that kind of glaze on the road they're beautiful trails Beautiful tracks, I mean. Oh, get your feet up, get your feet up. Here he goes.
David, you liking it? Uh, yes, a bit slippery today, but... A bit uh, slippery, isn't it? Uh, it's been a good start to the day, very cold, 6 degrees, 5 now. Yeah. But uh, no, it's going well. No, that's good. Angus, waiting for some mates? Yep. They're just coming. Just coming. No, this is a good morning to be out, eh? Great. Yeah, it's great. A little bit chilly, but we ought to be doing this and working. Looking back, it all seems so clear. Though I'm not sure how it led me here. But it don't seem that it'll be to me running over the ground. I won't lie, some days it's hard. I think about what we rode in that even car. But it reminds me that there's still something to be found. On the run. It's been so long, I don't know what I'm running from. And everywhere I go, my problems, they still seem to show. All I know is there ain't nothing that could happen here. It wouldn't happen there or anywhere else I'd go. Gentlemen! Good morning. See you. <laughs> That's a nice bit of road, wasn't it? Kept yeah, on our yeah. toes. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. All right, we're good. Yeah. Gonna ride up into the sunrise for me. Look at this. How good was that? That was awesome. Great roads. The weather's uh, held off for us, which is nice. So, loving it. Absolutely loving it. We're in Tassie. Woohoo! <laughs> Shed light on things I try to dispel All the good and the bad as I think about what I've had So I'll continue to look to the new Try not to dwell on what is through And keep on in the pursuit of whatever makes me a better man On the road been so long I don't know what I'm running from And everywhere I go my problems they still seem to show All I know is there ain't nothing that could happen here That wouldn't happen there or anywhere else I go Hey, that was good fun. <laughs> hey, yeah, bit of a blast. Yeah. Hang on, we got some friends coming. We better go, Dylan. Let's get out of here. mistake we've made. We've either made a mistake or we're, we're on track, but there doesn't seem to be many BMWs here, but look at this place. Oh yeah, we're a bit off course. Oh yeah? But, um, yeah, no, we are off course. 
Dylan, are you saying we're off course? We are definitely <laughs> off course. All right. We're a long, long way off course. Oh, yeah, we've missed. Uh, oh, what? We're not that far, but... We're back near here. We should have turned right yeah. at that bridge. Yep. There you go. Way. All right, give me back my map. It's been very useful in my pocket. Uh. <laughs> I have found this lovely little town. The bad news is we're 20, maybe 10, 15 k's lost. Ross female factory site. What a spot. We've been lost in Tasmania. We did a 10 kilometer detour. We're back. I've got what it was. You see the guy down by the creek? That's right. That's and why I was watching him, so I just kind of kept going. Dylan, it takes, it's teamwork, mate. I did the same. I was looking yeah. at him. I was not looking at that yeah, arrow. Yeah, yeah. We should chase yeah, that guy down. Didn't him, no, I'm looking at him. I think, oh, is he broken down? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. smooth not too hard again just beautiful though yeah. this is what you want you want a challenge on a safari not too big a challenge but just a, some fun <laughs> Dylan 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 come on come on the rack <laughs> Spectators are here, look at them lined up. Yay! Well done. Keep it going. Guys, that's slow and steady. Oh, the crowd boo! Oh, he stalled twice. He's in trouble. 
Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, you're there. Beautiful. Let's go, the Creek of Doom. What's he doing? Well, I haven't got my traction control off. Yeah, I haven't either. I don't know how to do it. I can't, I can't figure out how to turn it off. You reckon it'll be right? I think it's all right. You just got to maintain momentum. Well done. Look at everyone cheering, isn't that great? Yeah, yeah. That's the thing about BMW crew, you know, they're really uh, supportive and helpful of each other. Yeah. All right, my friends, so if you go in, I go in. If you don't go in, <laughs> I might go in, or both of us will go in. There we go. All right, let's go. Well, we both didn't go in. <laughs> what greets us on this red arrowed marker? Well, it's a route that we've done on previous events. Yes. It's He's shaking already. Steepish sections. I ran it out a couple of months ago. Somehow they're less rugged right now. Yeah. So it's not diabolical. Right. But it's not for everyone in this group. No. Okay, a let's do people, it. A lot of people would be happy to go that way. Yeah. yeah. People would go that way. It gets down to more, more to double track. Yeah. 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 And not like when we went through, it doesn't seem like bikes have been through there for a long time. Yeah. So, yeah. A couple of real rocky bits, but just nice descending. Yep. That looks like us, Dylan. So, there's miles, so I can't see them properly. But anyway, let's do the talking miles. Take me through this because I need familiarisation. Well, you've currently got enduro mode selected, which is a great mode yeah. for a lot of riding, for a lot of riders. Yeah. ABS and traction is calibrated for dirt, and it works really well. Yep. Um, so there is ABS and traction control, but it works great on the dirt. Uh, if we wanted to go to enduro pro, the yeah. main reason a rider would want to do that, the main reason is it allows lockup of the rear wheel. Yes. And, and that's what I'm missing. You're missing that in your life, and I'm, aren't you? I'm missing that in my life. The other thing I'm missing is um, to keep up with him, I've got to gear it up yeah. and roll into things. If I gas it, it just interferes. No, just that's just about being a smooth rider, Dave. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Sorry, Miles. No, that's all right. That's I, all right. I think you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, yeah. if we go back now and yeah. check out what modes are there, we got Enduro and oh. Enduro Pro. Where the hell did that come from? I just select. It was on the film. It's on the video. You're gonna have to watch. You're gonna have to watch the video. <laughs> and I also did a video recently for 18 minutes for BMW Australia that goes through modes, ABS, and traction control. It's right. like an infomercial. Beautiful. So that's called uh, BMW GS Features Explained. I think I better put a link to that. Miles. Yeah, yeah, that's a good because idea. Because for the last half a day, I've been riding without Enduro Pro, and last time I had it. And life's a lot it's better. It's a great for me. mode. It's a great mode for people who have experience off road yeah. and like to use their rear brake. Yes. And for riders without as much experience, enduro mode's great as well. So what I'm going to do now, maybe go back in. Go back in. We'll do another one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm still it's running. Still videoing. Okay. Um, we're going to go in and we're just going to check the actual fine adjustments of Enduro Pro because you can customize it. Yeah. So if I go into. No, we're all going to go left. I want to go to Enduro Pro configuration. So now yeah. the engine is in a good setting. It's in like a, yeah. a, a medium like throttle response. Got. Yep, it's not too twitchy, it's not no. too doughy. No. Traction controls in Enduro Pro. Yeah. And ABS is in Enduro Pro. So good. you can play with them. So yes. Enduro Pro mode used to be not customizable. Yes. But now it is. Right. So you can take all your favorite features and make the mode that works for you. And generally the reason people do it is to be able to lock up the rear brake. Yes. But looking at that, you're good to go. Hmm. And I've left Enduro mode as an option, so you yeah, can yeah, toggle yeah. between them. I've got to be frank, uh, the Enduro mode's really good for most stuff. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, for most fine. riders, if, if the riders that go to Enduro Pro too soon, yes. just lock up the rear wheel in places they shouldn't, and it yes. gets them into trouble. So yeah. it's a real clear distinction. The people with more off-road experience get the benefits of Enduro Pro. And there are times, even like when myself or Shane or Chris are doing a recce, people with a lot of experience on these bikes and ride, you know, high level skill, we'll pop it in Enduro mode. If we're coming into a town, Flinders Ranges in the afternoon and there's animals everywhere and we're not looking to have shits and giggles anymore. We just want to get yeah. in safe. safe. Yeah. There's animals darting around and in Enduro mode, you can grab both brakes and try to snap the levers. Mm. And, and you won't get a lock up. Yes. You'll get really effective yes. braking. Where if you're an Enduro Pro and you have a real moment, mm. the locking rear wheel probably won't help off. you. Yeah. yeah. So these are the finer points, and that's explained in the video too. So it's, it's worth Beautiful. checking Beautiful. All right, Dylan. That's it. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Red. Red to the We're right. We're going red. Red to the right. That's it. <laughs> We've already into the Valley of Doom with Dylan. Dark and gloom. Look at the way that branches. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Good to go. Yep. <laughs> you've got a lot more wriggle room with the back wheel. Like if you gun it, you're going to slide out. And the, t and the tail, now I can um, flick the tail out with the back brake. Dylan from bike sales, I did not get you doing that.
So, this is an opportune moment. How are you liking the ride? Loving it. It's good fun, isn't it? Best ride ever. section to uh, get, a, get a bit of blood Warm back up. in there. So our bags are going over there. Yeah, they're already there. Most people are in. So we're at Sweetwater Villa. How's your day? Oh, just epic. Just <laughs> it was, epic. wasn't it? That sunshine in the morning, it was just brilliant, wasn't nice it? Nice in the morning. Yeah. Tracks were fantastic. Yeah. And everybody had a blast, even at the water crossing. Mate, they did, didn't they? It was great. Cheers. See ya. Mate, you got a, more luggage there than Princess Diana. What's I going know, on? No where we go, we shop. All right. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Oh. You had that skyline about the foot. 
Brad, how have you found the day? Excellent. That's good, mate. It's uh, bit cold in the morning. Yeah. It wet in the afternoon, but otherwise it was fantastic. Oh, that's good, mate. I, I've okay, never so seen so many um, there is a, the last uh, dirt, dirt roads without a pothole. Um, that last They're amazing, was just, aren't they? Just incredible. Yeah. No, no, no. What car? Yeah. Uh, great tracks, weren't they? Fantastic. Final ride is coming in, mate. Classic day. Mate, absolute cracker of a day. Yeah. Uh, the final guys are coming in. We uh, we had it all today. We had some uh, some pretty open, fast dirt road stuff, and then some super technical little river crossings, some almost single track, almost enduro style stuff with a, a little bit of moisture. But then the uh, the skies opened up on us, and uh, the Sava was wet and cold, but. Everyone that's come in's had a fabulous day, so that's awesome. But mate, as I was saying, if you've got to do wet, doing on a BMW 1250 GS is not a bad thing. No, I, I know there's uh, there's a lot of a lot of other options out there, but I know what I'd like to be on, on <laughs> in the wet. That's for sure. You, you can get a little bit of a uh, little bit of wind protection, a little bit of protection from the the moisture, and, and the, with the modes and the heated grips and everything, it yeah. just makes it makes it bearable, makes it yeah, comfortable. Absolutely. Breakout section. That was good fun. It was it was awesome. That was a uh, that was a little snippet. We used some of that um, from Enduro 2018. So we we thought we'd throw throw a little little snippet of that in for those yeah, who were up for it. And it was awesome. Yeah, good times. It was good fun. My friend from bike sales. I've got a wonderful video of him in a very strange predicament. Do I get to see this? Potentially. If you, if you don't, a hundred thousand people will. Cool. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, um, so, no, we had a great time. That morning ride was just so fast and flowing. Uh, everyone has just come up to me and just said, I just had a ball. I know, the, the vibe's really great, hey. It's been uh, been good all week, and uh, sometimes you, you worry that a bit of weather and a bit of cold can dampen the mood, but it hasn't, no. it hasn't changed the mood at all, Not which at is all. It's sensational. It's a great, great bunch of people, and... Uh, makes me happy to see them them guys and girls happy and as as usual you guys run this like a swiss watch i mean it's just i mean all the stuff you know behind the scenes to keep this running is a lot of skill involved and people don't appreciate it and mate it just it just works thank you mate it's um yeah it's a, it's a big job and there's a lot of moving pieces and and we've worked really hard with all the processes and putting the right people in places and uh Anthea is amazing and she now we've got Remy yeah. on board and yeah. Yeah, Shane. Shane's great at, yeah. at his bits. We, we've all got our bits, and then the, yeah. everyone, everyone meets up for the big show. And but it works like clockwork. And yeah, so it's it's growing too. I mean, uh, 250 riders on this bit. Yes. And then you do it again next week. Yeah, we back it up. So we finish up in Launceston tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, we'll have our final dinner, load yeah. everything up on Saturday morning, and head back to Hobart. Yeah. And then a new group. We've got about uh, probably 110 with staff. You're for, kidding for me. For week two. So yeah, she's Mate, that she's a beast. That it happen to be the biggest tour in Australia? I think so. I, I think yeah. it's definitely the biggest safari that's ever been yeah. been run. They've, no, they've combined, uh, before our time, they combined TS and GS back to back over yes. two weeks, but um, never a GS and GS with the, this volume. So yeah, she's a she's the big show. <laughs> well mate, congratulations. I mean, all the riders today, they've just absolutely been beaming with excitement. and. Uh, you know, it's just fantastic, and it's a real tribute to, to your team. You know, it's a great event you put on. Oh, thanks, Dave. We, we appreciate that, and, and we do work hard. And, you know, you we, one, one thing we do is we, we try to keep it really customer-focused, and, and I think yeah. the rest, yeah. that, that sort of helps everyone be motivated to, to keep, yeah. it all, keep it all going smoothly. Yeah, and, and Miles was good to me today. He got me in Enduro Pro. I wasn't in that. I was stuffing around that Enduro <laughs> mode and had no back brake. Well, it all goes on at once in Enduro, but I needed... I had a desire for that back break and he got me he, he clicked got, in. He got you sorted. And you, the more, more time you spend on these things too, you get super comfortable with those yeah. roads. And mate, it's great having you back again too. Ah, so it's good fun. I, I, Townsville was a wet one last year when you were yeah. up there and you've rolled in for another wet, another yeah, wet yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, so that's right. Seems like we're the rainmakers at the moment. I think I'm going to have to sneak a bit of Imogen Creek in this video anyway, because that was just good. You know, Sean diving over the bikes yeah. of the kill switch. So <laughs> I think a little bit of that, because that wasn't Imogen Creek today but everyone did that well i tell you the thing i love about the bmw crowd is that they genuinely look after each other yeah. 
Yeah. Absolutely. Out of their own little groups. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. It's it's um it's funny. It's like we end up with 200 staff members sometimes if something yeah. goes on. It's uh, yeah. Everyone pulls up and does their bit until until one of our staff arrive, which is never never far away. And then yeah, it's a great great little community though. That's for nah, sure. That's brilliant, mate. Thanks thanks for having us on board. Mate, thanks for yeah. Thanks for coming back. And we'll we'll have a spin tomorrow, eh? Hey? Yeah. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. You know, it was a 95% chance of rain today, mm. and it didn't happen. And, we, you know, it's just amazing, and you, you just can't predict it. So we'll no, see what goes you, on tomorrow. You, you never you never know. I, I know some people have been showing me weather reports all week, and I, yeah. I, just, I just said, well, just, just see what happens in the morning. And yeah. today's a classic example. You can't go off a weather report yeah. because it didn't happen the way they said. And yeah. Yeah. So that, that the, apparently someone in bike sales, I can't, I'm not sure who it was. <laughs> He, I, I, I think you might know, but <laughs> he's going cut, cut, cut. Anyway, uh, we won't tell more than a hundred thousand people what happened. It yeah, may be one fifty. <laughs> he's saying, "Stop it, stop it." There he is. He's got his helmet on to hide his identity. <laughs> no, nah, Dylan and I had a pearl over time today, didn't we, mate? That's it. Unreal day. Great trails, great trails, great Very fun. Good. Yeah. Very good indeed. All right, let's go. We're going to go and get. Tidied up. Awesome. Thanks, okay, guys. Mate. Have a great Thank night. You. See ya. See you later. He's one up to, he's yeah, one up to one green up. whistle. He's one of the strongest. Lachlan, how was today? Yeah, unreal day. Yeah, mate. It's a bit of everything today. Yeah. A lot of rain, a bit of mud. Yeah. Lots of fun. What was your highlight? Um, we saw the cameraman at the end of the dirt track there, so he um, <laughs> did a bit of wheel spin for them and a bit of sideways, so that was always a bit of fun. Ah, oh, it's good, mate. That's good. Thanks, Great Lachlan. Look at this. Weren't they a keen bunch today for us? BMW riders. This is BMW riders on the move. Hey, where's Nugget, Dave? Where's Nugget? That's right. Where is he? That could be a mega shot. Cub reporter coming in. Just getting the inside gloss. Do we, do we want to take four lead riders out? Uh, I got in at the sort of back, back little bunch today, but everyone that, that I seen right in was, was going, best day ever, best day, fist pumping. So was that the general consensus here? Yeah! Um, the boys little red option. What do we think? Who went, who went the red? Okay. Good sign, huh? Who, uh, who had a little tip over today in the, in the red section? No. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just getting on the front foot here because I know, I know how this deal works, so. <laughs> I'm so sure I can't lift my own bike. Seen, I didn't see any skid marks at all today. So, pretty impressive. I'm sure there was a few. <laughs> Last day of riding. Yep. Where are we heading? What, what's going on? Well, looks like we're heading into the mountains. And uh, I think there's going to be a lot of dirt today. Well, the look of it. Uh, there's this little cheat sheet here. I wonder how many people are going to do that. I think there might be a few, few that do it. A few sore bodies out there that are probably just taking that up. option. Yeah, so a lot of dirt today. So it's a grand finale, isn't it, for yeah. for, for Definitely. riding? Definitely. But if you do that, you miss Jacob's ladder, which would be a pity. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's definitely a must. That's on the on the to do list. I think. Yeah. Now, what we've got to watch today is fuel. You don't have to. No. On that no, bloody GSA. GSA, the Exxon Valdez. So I need f fuel 63 k's out, and then the next fuel's at Scottsdale at 275. Yeah. So I, depending on what I do, I may very well need both of those. Yeah. Looks like a, it's going to be a good day though, by the look of it. All right, mate. Let's see, and hopefully, let's just look outside for a moment. <laughs> hey, now it was forecast ninety five percent rain. Looking not too bad at the moment. It's not too bad, is it? Nice place too, St Helens. Worth a visit. Alrighty.
Final day, BMW Safari. Let's open the door, see what it brings. Ooh, that's an each way bet. That is an each way bet. It'll be interesting what today brings. Uh, mixed weather there, I think. Lovely bay, looks stunning. Yesterday's riding, you know, was just phenomenal and you know, it's funny, you know, you, you've just got to take weather reports with a grain of salt. I suppose we all know that, but you know, it was forecast for 95% rain yesterday and um, that's just not what happened. It didn't, you know, we had bright sunshine and great riding conditions for at least half the day. Yeah, it poured down in the end, but hey, Mate, by that stage we'd had our fair share of um, brilliant riding. Anyway, today is an interesting day. I mean, they're finishing the ride with a huge whack of dirt. I think it, it's something like, I don't know, 250, 280 kilometres of dirt, which is fantastic. And some of the best conditions in Tasmania too, best riding conditions. Yeah, so... Yeah, really looking forward to today. I've never done Jacob's Ladder, and uh, I've seen pictures of it, but I've never done it. I'll be interested if, it, if it's not covered in mist. And, you know, I just haven't ridden in Tasmania. I visited the place, but I haven't ridden in it and didn't realise how good it was for bikes. I've really underestimated it, you know? And uh, it's to my detriment that I have. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. This is some of the best riding I've adventure riding I've done in Australia, and I'm yet to do the best today. I mean the BMW HQ for breakfast. There is a C. Oh, that's it. Pump that gate up. <laughs> I'll just, before we go in, have a, have a take on this. That is a sea of beamers. Have a look at that. Everywhere you look. That is a lot of beamers. 250 riders in this first lot. And they do it again next, next week with another, a further 100 and something. Sam, final day, how have you liked it? It's been really good, it's actually amazing. Better yeah. than I expected. Yeah. Yeah, I've been on a few safaris Sorry, as mate, well. Sorry mate, just got to park right there too. <laughs> I've been on a few safaris. Yeah. Um, this one is a highlight. Yes. Yeah, the tracks yesterday were amazing. They were, weren't road, they? Yeah. Um, a bit bumpy, beautiful, a little bit technical, but still amazing. Yeah. And the scenery is so good, so yeah, better than expected. So how many safaris have you done, mate? This is this will be my third. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, did, were you in Cairns last year? No, I was in. Uh, I did the Lura to Batemans Bay. Yeah. And I did the um, the Outback one, which was to um, Cameron's Corner. Oh wow. And that okay. Was, that was an adventure as well. Yeah. 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 Great stuff. And um, and this one, and they're all different, and they're all beautiful. Yeah. Well organised, aren't they? Yeah. Amazing. The GS crew, like they. You don't even have to think, you just come and ride. You yes. Yeah. You just come and enjoy yourself. Everything's already sorted out. Yeah. And the, the, the tracks that they take you on are places that you'd probably never see. You'd never find. You'd never even want to go there. You won't go there. No. Nobody goes there. Yeah. And the, um, the sometimes you're in places, you think to yourself, if it wasn't for the GS crew. You wouldn't be there, would you? Too risky. No, no reason to even be there, <laughs> except beautiful. It's just so raw and beautiful. So yeah. Yeah. Oh amazing. mate, that's good. Yeah. And this is the other benefit is you get your luggage, you put on a luggage truck, you don't have to exactly. carry that around. Exactly. And how long have you had your 1250? Since 2020. How long is that? Two years. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's already got 11,000 k's on it. Yeah. I only ride it with them, you know. I ride wow. it around the city a little bit, but most of the k's uh, are with the GS safari. team. Yeah. Wow. Great view, mate. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a quick sec? Yeah. Final day. Yeah. 
You're sending that to your loved ones, are you? Yeah, I am. Tell yeah. Them you're having a last day. It's yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Should be a nice cold one today. Yeah. How'd you like yesterday? Fantastic. Yeah. Did the red zone. Yes. Had a lot of fun. Yeah. Playing in the mud. Yeah. Playing in the rocks. <laughs> My uh, riding colleague, you'll remember as you're going down, there was a kind of a stick that went out or a log that went out. Oh, on there the was side. a few, yeah. And yeah. he went... <laughs> Oh, over the side, sideways. so we had to dig him out. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Mate, St Helens is a stunning place, isn't That's it? It's a beautiful place. Yeah. We come here... Okay. There is my mate. Look at him. There he is. Dylan oh, from yeah, Bikes. I saw, I saw you on the side. We come down the hill. <laughs> there was enough of you there already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and what do you got? What sort of bike? F800. All right. GS, okay. yeah. Yeah, they're a weapon, yeah. aren't they? 2014. Yes. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Is this your first safari? First safari. All oh, right. Yeah. You're coming back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. I can. Yeah. Mate. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good, mate. Yeah. And today looks really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, a lot of rocks, I think. A little bit yeah. gravelly sort of, marbly sort of Stuff. road. So yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, mate. I'll let yeah. you get on with it. Thanks. See you. You got your makeup on, boys? Yeah, that's good. That's the good side. Yeah, that's good. Everyone's got their hair done, it's good. Yeah, I smell nice too. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Martin, last day, last have day. you found it? Oh, awesome. It's been ex exhausting, but exhilarating as well. I mean, yeah. the, the tracks have been great. We've been hampered a little bit by the weather. Yeah. But realistically, everything's hung together it's been it's been it wasn't good. it wasn't yesterday amazing with those tracks oh really good some yeah. really 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 tricky bits yes you know the hairpins and the yes. and the coming over the the blind crest and stuff um i have to say though the the marking arrows and stuff are really good yesterday yes um yeah probably stopped me going in a river yeah yeah it yeah. stopped me hitting a bridge just about coming up over the hill and it yes. was like yeah yeah so is, is how many uh, safaris have you done? So this is my second. Oh wow. My first one was the uh, Ken's one last year, oh. which is where I meet you. I actually ah, meet you there at right. the Imogen Creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't that a massacre? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was good. I got across that. I was really Oh really well rapped. done, I was mate. Really rapped. Yeah, I'll so tell you, I followed Miles' advice and traction control off, so Yes. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have liked to be the very last going through, like there were holes and Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely forming when when we got there and then there were the caravans coming through as well. You know, yeah, yeah. Drives, so. Yeah. Yeah, but yesterday's was was yeah nowhere near as bad. It was yeah. it was a good little test, but the rocky oh. section was hard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Martin. No worries. Petra BMW Safari, how are you liking it? Uh, liking it is an understatement. Yeah. Um, I'm loving it. It's yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so the final day, what's been your favourite so far? Looking forward to today, yeah. because Ben Lomond is my I want to do, oh, right. on my I want to do list. I've tried um, three times to go up there and every right. time it was raining or really foggy or really yeah. late in the day. Right. And I wanted to do that part, so that's my highlight. Right. But I loved yesterday, yesterday was so good. Wasn't it? Yeah, that red section oh my gosh and I've yes. got the best footage have you yes. oh that's good <laughs> so what do you ride I ride a um, GS 1250 yes rally yes HP. yeah um, it's a 2019 model yes I've got it one week before 2019 safari yes um, that was my first safari yeah I've now got nearly a hundred thousand Ks on it in wow three years. wow and when I did BMW safari in 2019 yes I said to my boys, they're my 25 and 29 old. Yeah. year old boys, I said, oh, I don't know if I can afford all this. It's like three grand. And my, my son said, mom, this is what we would go for a surf trip. So yeah. that's nothing. You go and enjoy that. Yeah. Enjoy that weekend. And now, yeah. like, I'm doing it. I, I only wanted to do one. Yeah. And now I'm like a number four. You're a return <laughs> visitor. Yes. Oh, that's good. Well, Petra, let's have a great ride today. I uh, look forward to seeing you out in the tracks and hopefully... You know, in the morning we had good weather and it looks all right. So far, so good. Hey? Hopefully that rain stays away. Yeah, they just say. it comes in the afternoon. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all, right. all west coast, I think, and, and up Hobart. Yeah, so all right. This little bubble should be fine. Yeah, great Safe to riding. see you. Okay, and you're a mad TV fan, they tell me. Yes, I am. Oh and my, yes, and my boyfriend is really, really mad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thanks, Petra. Bye. How about? 
um, that Petra I interviewed didn't she have a great story so passionate about a beamer you know like meeting people like that they're just um, it's they're just infectious you know you hang around them and you've just got this positive energy and vibe just bouncing out of them and you know being around people like that they they really make you feel good even if we're probably not going in the right direction <laughs> 60 k's out. Uh, you got a hundred. Mate, you're the Exxon Valdez. Okay. Oh no, watch it. There's another one. God, these are interesting roads. Goodness me. Goodness me. This is good fun. Oh, I wish I had my pin locked though. <laughs> a little hamlet now you know I, I've forgotten on my notes where this fuel station is is it here or the next the next one I'm not sure Athena Country Club.
Look at this. Some root planting going on. They're getting into it. Just trying to work out the fuel, fuel. stops. Yeah, I, I, it's better having fuel than not. So yeah. I stuck uh, some in. We'll stop at Scotch. Uh, we'll get fuel here, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. get fuel yeah. here and then yeah. that'll definitely get us oh, there. Sure, well and truly. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you get lost. Because sometimes you might get lost too. Yeah. You've got to yeah. double back. Because so some of this sort of on-off, on-off, choose the fuel too. Mm. Oh, That's good, the yeah. first time I've seen a country club with a pub. It's a pub in there. And petrol station. Yeah, petrol station. Petrol station, club, country club, beer, everything. Athena. They're dribbling in now. Hey German, how was that? That's good, man. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, enjoying the scenery, the view. Yeah. A beautiful place. The yeah. Earth is so beautiful, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's the first time in Tasmania. First time, first yeah. time off road, first time uh, safari. Oh really? Yeah. How are you liking it? Enjoying it, man. Every every second, every moment. Yeah. 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 What What's your favorite day so far? Uh, yesterday and day before yesterday. Yeah. And this morning so far is going so good. Yes. And weather is keeping. Uh, yeah. So Do you reckon we can get to the Jacob's Ladder without too much rain? Hope, hope is the best. <laughs> and, but then we can't find the, we can't fight the weather. Yeah. Whatever comes. We, we yeah, we can do it. it on these bikes. Yeah. I tell you what, there's nothing better than being on a beamer in the wet with the heated seats and heated grips. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> And it's five settings, so I can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you here, mate. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dominique, you've just come off the lovely bit of flowing dirt. What do you think? Oh, it, it was exactly like that. It was lovely and flowing. Yeah. And uh, I've got a sore wrist. I didn't have to worry about changing gear. So oh, it was right. fantastic. Yeah. It was a good way to warm into the ride today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of gravel every now and again, but it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoying it. The last couple of days have been sensational. Yes, yeah, yeah. So where are you from? Um, put me down as Queensland. All oh, right, okay, yeah, so Queensland, Queensland it is. Queensland, Richo. So. Yeah, all right, Queensland it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is this your first one or you've been no, on a few? I've done three. I've done Queensland, middle of Queensland, I think 2016. Yep. When Grant was doing them. Uh, I did Cape Trip. The one, yes. That was last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this one. Yeah. Oh, welcome, yeah. mate, to this one. It's so great. They're hard to keep away from. They, they are. They're really, infectious, really aren't are. they? So, um, yeah, we've just got to be quick getting on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, they sell out quick. I know. Very, yeah. very quick. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dominic, great to have yeah. you on. Thanks for the chat. Ah, we've caught up with a chili contingent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Colombia. 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 Yeah. Representing Chile Mafia. All oh, right. Oh. Yeah. Hey. So how have you found it? Amazing. Yeah. yeah it's great, I've yeah. been learning more than the two um, trainings for BMW. It's amazing, <laughs> and the capabilities of the bike of road is, is crazy. Yeah. It's the puto amo of the curves. <laughs> yeah. Puto amo de las curvas. And yeah. No, we've been doing good. Yeah. It's, it's been great. Though. It's tricky when you you have to change your mindset from off road to on road, right. yeah. you know, and just using your yeah. elbows outside. He's the man. Aha! Uh -huh. So, favorite day? You got a favorite day? Yeah. Yesterday. 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 Yeah. I went for a swim in the river. So oh yeah. I was feeling hot, and I, I just said, "Oh, let's go for a swim uh. <laughs> with the bike." With the bike. Oh, with the bike. <laughs> Thank God it's a rental, so. <laughs> Thank God it's a rental. We want to send cheers to Jonathan who rented the bikes. We're really taking care of them. <laughs> oh, that's good. And uh, today is very good riding. Like uh, it, it should be, you know, if we can just hold the weather off. Yeah. Well, so it's so good to see an international contingent here. It's wonderful. Thank you. Salud for mi mami. Yeah. <laughs> so, is there any shout out to anyone at home? Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy, I love you. Thanks for letting us come here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chee! Chee! Ale! Le! Chee! 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 Le! 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 Viva Chile! At Mathena. At Mathena Country Club. They're here.
Uh, thank so, you, gentlemen. This is Andreas. He's from BMW, and one of the customers um, had problems with his bike or fell off his bike and damaged it. And so Andreas gave uh, gave his bike, his 1200, to that bloke. And now he's on this little 310, which I've got to say, I've done a review on this bike. On the 310, they're a cracking little bike. Look at that. Andreas, you're on the little 310 today. Oh yeah, you know <laughs> what? As a matter of fact, one shouldn't shy away from it because it's pretty all right. It's, I've done a review on it, they're an excellent little bike. Yep. Hey, if you want to get your shot, yeah, here yeah, they come. Yeah, absolutely, if you give yeah. them a <laughs> you just need to have some more. Hey, have a go have at a, that. Oh wow, look at the crew. Hey. That's uh, the Chilean mob, you know. Yep, that's the Chilean mob. Yeah, there they are. Is that the Canadian? No. Yes. Yeah, so one oh, from well. Colombia, one from Chile. Yeah. Yeah, so a few international guests this time around, which is absolutely fantastic. Yes. Yeah, I got, I got talking to them and they just th said it's just wonderful. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we were looking at expanding that a fair bit. So um, as part of BMW Group Worldwide. Oh, right. As a, a moderate, we are actually looking to do an experience platform that covers the whole world. So you can oh, wow. choose different experiences at different parts. Well, I tell you what, those guys were just full of beans and they gave a great big uh, chili and yay, yay, yay in front of the, <laughs> the pub there. As a matter of fact, we, we better get to know them quite well because it would be quite nice to go over there and ride as well. Yeah, yeah, so. they're great. A um, lot of uh, female riders on this ride. How many? Ten? Yeah, not as many as I'd like to though. No, as a matter yeah. Of fact, that would be absolutely fantastic if we can get uh, more females to join us. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I see my role as kind of interviewing those ladies and just, you know, they just love what they do, and I'm sure people just are hesitant. There's a lot more riders out there, and uh, and yeah, the ladies just are just a little bit hesitant. I think they think it's too much. So, but I mean, when I interview them. But they just love it, you know, everyone helps and it's a... I still have a good look, yeah, they do uh, help and they, uh, as a matter of fact, they are not at all shy and... No! <laughs> they, they, they get around no problem whatsoever and as a, as, a, as a matter of fact, it's very rare that we have anyone, you know, topple over hard themselves. They're no, they know their limitations, well. don't oh, they? Yeah. yeah, and not, not only that, they're a little bit smarter than maybe some of us males. I think they're a lot they're smarter. Yeah. That, that ambition, ability kind of equation, they get it right. Yeah. I can't, I can't help but love the vibe of the, the BMW Safari. It's, um, you know, just hanging around such a bunch of positive people, aren't they? Well, what's that to be sad about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. And uh, so what's your favourite day riding so far? I would say it was probably day three. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, well, um, a lot of people have been raving about day four, and it'll be interesting today because uh, it just depends on whether that weather holds out. But at the moment, hasn't it been a ripper? Oh, absolutely fantastic. And as a matter of fact, coming, going up on Jacob's ladder, if it's not blowing a gale and yeah. uh, raining or sleet coming down, yeah. it'll be the first time ever that I've been that it hasn't been. 
So I'm pretty sure that it will live up well, to its reputation and we'll get some pretty cool almost winter shots. I'm, I'm really excited because I haven't been there. So I'm oh, really looking forward. Okay. I haven't ridden in the middle of Tasmania. It's bike riding everywhere. I haven't done it. So okay. I've just been blown away. It's fantastic. I can understand now why you come here. Oh, absolutely. It's because you get so many different terrains. Yes. And yes. We have, you know, we have four seasons in one day in Melbourne. Here you got four seasons in one hour. Yeah. It's and you crazy. have also the riding conditions just continuously change. Yeah. Yeah. Every no, it's moment, amazing. it's a different space to be in. Well, I hope to catch up with you during the ride. You're going to ride with us for a while. I've got the GoPro on, and young Dylan from Australian Bike Sales is over there, and yeah, we've been riding together for the last couple of days and having just a heap of fun. It's been brilliant, but see, everyone's getting their cameras out. See, they're ready, <laughs> ready for the next lot to come. Oh yeah, no, I have a, quite a few really good <laughs> shots as well. Mate, uh, so glad to talk to you about it. Yeah, Thank same. You. Thanks for coming along. Yeah. Leon, Andreas is skipping along on the little 310. Greatly underestimated bike. Great entry level bike. I'm with you. Bikes going down left, right, and centre. This is as greasy as. You all right? This is as greasy as. Got to try to get over that other bit. Oh yes, I'll do it. So I was listening to an experienced BMW rider the other day, you know, and the recognition that these bikes, you know, are heavy. They're over 200 kilograms. And I suppose this law goes for all bikes, or this saying, that he says, let it be. And then what he means is you just eject. Don't try to hold the bike on these sorts of slippery, muddy conditions. If you fall off, you fall off. And, and shit, it's the fan. <laughs> Okay, so now we're back on the road. God, they're really turning on pristine riding conditions today. It's just amazing. I mean, I haven't ridden in this part of Tasmania before and I'm kicking myself that I waited until I was 61 to get here. You're bloody kidding me. Crazy, should have been here years ago. It's just amazing.
St. Sean, he always gets the good jobs. You know it, Dave. Imogen Creek last time, and now they've stuck you on the top of Jacob's this mountain. Ladder. Yes. And my temperature degrees. says three degrees. Yep. Gold one, white out. No views today, so. But we got to do it. You've got to do it. Absolutely right. It's yeah. one of those um, iconic places in Tassie that you've got to see. Yeah. So this. So I've done it in the mist. Is your phone ringing? My you can answer ringing. that during an interview it's with the, Mad TV. It's the boss lady. Oh, well, talk to the boss lady. I'm going to have to call her back. What? Yep. You th you're going to diss her? It, um, I'm going to give her this video, you know. It stopped ringing. Oh. oh. <laughs> I've learned something today. Hill hold. Boom, boom. Yeah, I know. It's a great little feature. Secret. The secret of the beamers. There it is. Yeah, oh well. I'm completely blocked. We're going to do this, Dylan. We're going up. We're going up. There's not a lot to see, but we'll be up there. We'll get up the, up the top. Is there any point in, in filming this at all? If you like fog, I'd say yes, but uh... <laughs> Look at that, like, honestly. This is why we ordained him St. Sean. So I'm, going, I'm hearing you're going to do more work with this crew. I hope so, Dave. It's, uh, That's I made exciting. a move to Queensland, so I'm closer to all the action. And um, that, that way it makes it easy for them to get me in on more events and off-road training. So it's good and I look forward to it. No, mate, it'd be great to have you on board, your smiling face and dedication. And at this stage, what we're going to do is we're just going to segue into that shot of you diving in Imogen Creek <laughs> to turn that kill switch off. I had to. I had to. I didn't want to have a dead bike and try and dewater a bike. Nah. You know, just Wait, that, I'm going to insert drink, that so. footage. That's when Clubby and I ordained you St. Sean. Good, good form. Good form. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, so. Happy ending deserves some slow-mo. Nothing better than a face plant in some of the cleanest water in Australia. And look how St. Sean dives in to kill the engine. Just one thing, uh, favourite day on this ride? On this ride? It's hard to pick between yesterday and today, but I think the, the riding today is a bit of a mix of everything. Yes. There's, there's some loose gravel, there's mud, there's yes. awesome scenery. And um, yeah, I think I think at this stage today will take the pick for me, even yeah. though it's gold. That's, yeah. That's all good. Well, Matt, Jacob's, we're at Jacob's ladder, we've got halfway up. It starts snowing, and mate, that's the visibility. I think Dylan's here. Dylan, are you here? Oh yeah, there he yep, is. Yeah, I'm over here. Yeah, that's good. Can't see much up here. Nah, it is. Two degrees. Watchtower lookout there for those interested. It's been the kind of year I define if I forgot. I'll never forget it as long as I live in the night saying a lot.
sleep. What's that? Um, and, and yeah, thank you. You, you make magic happen. I'm sure everyone's going to play. So, the only thing that I would like to add to that, and Anthea has already pointed it out, is that you guys are an absolutely amazing crowd. Because there's not too many places in the world where you can go out and do an event like this, put everyone through hell, <laughs> yeah, and pay big money. How good is that? that we absolutely love the fact that you guys absolutely use the product for what it's meant to do. Because there's so many people that buy our products and they just sit there in the garage or in the lounge room or whatever they put it, and it doesn't actually get used. Whereas you guys put it through the ringer. You absolutely give it out. And that is really beautiful to see because you actually appreciate the product for what we design. It, it to do. So again, a big round of applause to you guys. Thank you. And that's pretty much it from us. So Jenna, it just got a special mention. Um, yeah, so you, you lucked out last year, but you're back. Yeah. How long have you been riding Beamers? Oh, my first Beamer was actually a R75 stroke 5, which I put from about uh, 76 or something. Oh wow. So I've had a, I was counting the other day, I had, I've had mostly road bikes. This is the first GS I've had. Yes. So I've had, you know, like a Monster. But they're right. fantastic, I love them. So you've got a, t tell me what model you have at the moment. Mine's a uh, 1250. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and how do you find it to ride? It's fantastic. Yeah. In fact, I think if I bought another bike, I probably wouldn't be able to ride it because this one is so easy. I had an R2 before, uh, 2005, yeah. which was great, but this is like so manoeuvrable. Yeah. It's just easy to ride. Yeah, and um, the spirit of the this safari, Fantastic. how many of you, how many of these have you done? Uh, this is actually my first one because I went to Townsville. Yes, I remember, and you got injured, didn't you? Yeah, or something? I yeah. dropped the bike on my foot and yeah. busted it, so that was the end of that. Um, so I thought I'd come back and probably do another one next year. And how did you find this one? It was tiring, um, but it was it was good. It was yeah. good. Um, you, you have to pace yourself, yes. especially at my age, because otherwise you wear yourself out. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to get injured again. No, no. So it was pretty interesting. Well, congratulations for getting through that today. That was, um, there's some challenging riding there. Yeah, so. there was. There was a few freak out moments this morning, going down going out some of those ditches. And yeah. I have to admit, I did take the shortcut, the green loop. Oh, you can be forgiven for that. I, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. No, uh, it, was, it was great right there. And they tell me, I've heard a whisper you're a fan of Mad TV. I am. I'm a great fan of Mad TV. I've oh, got to be happy with that. <laughs> Especially the tropical part of 
punch. Tropical punch. You love tropical punch. Yes. Well, Janet, uh, safe ride home, safe journey home, and uh, look forward to seeing you at the next safari. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks. So, you guys are together in the sun room, in the, in the you know, front of your the office, wherever. In the salad to the In the man cave, exactly. And uh, there's only one, and things that there are only one of them. Yeah. All right. Where do we stand? Because I've forgotten. 75. $7,600. $8,000. When's it going to stop? That's the question. $8,000? Is that it? We're there? Everyone? Okay. Okay, well we're flying, and I'm a doctor, so just any bit of royalty, and then we're nailed. Uh, listen, we, I think we're going to call it for nine thousand dollars. The BMW Safari Tasmania GS 2022 banner signed by all. Going once. I'd like an opening bid, please. Thousand dollars? I'm going to open up four. Okay. All right, we're all ready. Four thousand. All right, sixteen five. Sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. I've gone past my All right, good man. Sixteen five. Going once. Oh, it's gonna go. Going twice. <laughs> Sixteen thousand five hundred dollars. So, 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 so,